family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and it's Saturday afternoon, and let me tell you, I just came in from doing our weekly grocery run, and I'm going to tell you, the stores are not what they used to be, but they, it's still a hassle, it's a hassle on a different level, it's not people running and pushing and walking over each other to get the last pack of meat. It's not like that or anything. Not that I have experienced that personally, but I know that that's been the atmosphere in the beginning of this whole situation that we're going through. But it's different, right? The stores are always have always have a lot of people. But it's just different. It's a different vibe, a different atmosphere. You can't like plan out meals. You gotta just go for I plan my plan today was just to get enough meat for the week. And so because you don't know what's in the store. You can't be like, okay, I'm going to get this for this day and that for that day. You just got to get whatever you can get and get on out of there and figure out the meal when you get home. So if you're a planner, like planning out what exactly what you're going to eat, it's just not going to work, right? You got to get there, see what they got and say, oh, I like chicken. They got plenty of chicken. So let me get some legs. Let me get some wings. Let me get some thighs. And, you know, you can figure it out later. You can bake some one day, air fry some another day, barbecue some. You, you just got to get what you can get. I'm going to show you these lamps that I got. And I found some lamb's ear. I love lamb's ear. I found some lamb's ear in Dollar General. And I got these cutesy wootsy little lamps and they're not the same color even though they might look the same color but one is a little more galvanized looking and one is more of a brown but they were the only two they had so my plan was to get them at the dollar general where i was and then go to my dollar general which is right down the street because i had saw them in there the other day well they're gone i took them both inside the store to match them, right? To see whichever color they had, I would get the other one to go with one of these and, and return the one I didn't want. Well, that went out the window because... So I wanted to kind of refresh it. I really like it the way it looks, but I just wanted to kind of give it a new look. So I'm going to take everything off, clean it, and then we'll try the lamps and see what we want to do different over here. on and I made a store run for hubby he wanted some red mulch after going to Home Depot and coming back we um, added some mulch to that front area that I showed you before where we put the hostas we actually added one more plant to that area not a hosta 
but we added one more plant to the area and also the last holly bush thanks so much to the subscriber that told me the name of that purple flower so here i am adding red mulch and then i'll step back and check out my work it looks pretty good i've never put mulch in a yard before so i don't know if i did it right or not but it looks good um it's supposed to rain tomorrow so i hope it just doesn't wash it all away but i really like it right there and it makes the yard stand out so thank you so much to my subscriber i'm sorry i can't remember who said it but thank you for telling me it was a holly bush now the respect for my husband you know he doesn't like to be on camera so the next couple seconds will be of him and I planting um, some begonias in this planter, but I changed the filter so you really couldn't see his face. He really just doesn't like to be on camera and I wanna give him that respect, but I just didn't wanna take this clip out. I wanted to show you everything that we did um, that I did on Saturday. So we have a really two really small planters that are right cute. They're made out of concrete um, and they're a pretty grayish, bluish color with gold in them and um i wanted them to sit on the steps so we put a begonia in each one i'm not sure what it's going to do but we shall see and then now um i'll take them over and water them before sitting them back on the step these planters are really pretty they've been in the house hiding hadn't done anything with them i wish they were a little bigger but they're too pretty to hide in the house and i may get some bigger ones later but for now these are right cute they're cute for our beginner beginner gardening because we are truly beginners but we're having so much fun just doing what we're doing and we'll figure it out right if it doesn't work we'll do something else if it does work we'll keep doing it you know what i mean so Hubby was getting ready to finish up this area by blowing it off, but I wanted to get inside and go ahead and get dinner started. So I just wanted to show you um, what we look like so far. It's coming along out here slowly but surely, you guys. We're not in a rush. We just do what we can um, as we can do it. Um, but I, I just, I love my yard. It's it's really coming together so so i went in the house and decided to put um something quick in the air fryer for dinner i always start by lining my air fryer with foil it just helps with cleanup i am putting some honey um glazed barbecue honey glazed wings um in there i was a little disappointed there were only 10 wings in the pack so I was able to do the Tim Wings. I, my husband's favorite French fries, the crinkle cut fries. I put some crinkle cut fries in the air fryer. And I also um, took out some ground turkey and made hamburger patties with those. So it was a nice, quick dinner, but it was really good. And I got the wings just right. They were cooked perfectly, but they had a little burn on them in certain areas. So. They were really, really good, you guys. And yeah, that was it. Saturday um, has been, it's been a really good Saturday. Um, we got a lot done. Did the ministry this morning. Uh, at 9.30, we met um, on Zoom. The My Field Ministry group in my congregation, we met 9.30 at Zoom, on Zoom. Uh, and then I went and got my hair done. I uh, put a mask on and went over to my hairstylist uh, or loctician. I did some grocery shopping. I helped the hubby out in the yard. Um, I redid my entry table and I made dinner. And so now I'm going to finish enjoying the rest of my Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
I love you all. Have a good night.